Is this blow dryer from Amazon better than the Dyson? Do we finally have a Dyson killer on our hands with this blow dryer? Well, today we are going to put it to the test and find out. So today we are looking at the Ionic blow dryer from Tensky. This, according to the brand, is a professional hair dryer equipped with an 110,000 RPM brushless motor with LCD intelligent display. We're going to be comparing it today also with the Dyson supersonic hair dryer, which on paper is a pretty good one to compare this to because again, on paper, they're pretty similar with the same RPMs and, and a very similar design. Obviously the design's a little bit different, but it's very similar in the way that it works. I am obviously very familiar with the Dyson as I've had this one for quite a few years now, five or six at least. So I am very interested to see how this new one compares to my old one. Looking first though at the mechanics of the blow dryer, I already shared a few details with you on the Tensky dryer. A few more though, according to the brand once again, include ultra fast drying that they say is up to two times faster than other hair dryers, temperature monitoring through the use of microprocessors that monitor the temperature a hundred times per second and make small regular adjustments to avoid your hair from being damaged by extreme heat. They also say that this eliminates frizz and enhances shine with the ionic blower that emits up to 200 million negative ions that eliminate static and curly hair. It also features things like an easy cleaning mode to keep it working as new. The cleaning mode is actually pretty cool because if you hold down this button right here for about three seconds, the air, which normally goes goes this way actually goes the opposite direction and comes out the back here and just blasts out anything that's stuck in there. I think that's pretty sweet. Also like the Dyson, it's got this magnetic nozzle piece that actually comes with it. It's just magnetic clips right back on pretty standard stuff. The Tensky though, price wise comes in at $179.99 on Amazon, whereas the Dyson is much heavier price coming in at around $429.99. There are discounts available on this Tensky dryer that I'll share with you at the end of the video. So you can actually get this at an even better price right now. But first looking at the design, now we can see that once again, the designs are they're kind of similar. And once again, the method of delivery for the airflow is pretty similar. The Dyson, I have to say, though, is heavier. It has a good amount of more weight to it in the hand. The Tensky, it does feel lighter, but it doesn't feel cheap. I want to make sure to distinguish between the two. It doesn't feel cheap, even though it does feel lighter. I think it's just a smaller unit, but it does have a little bit of weight to it. So it definitely doesn't feel cheap. One thing I did notice right away, though, between the two was that the Dyson actually has has a much longer cord, which I know in a professional setting from talking to people is a big deal. I mean, the cord on the Dyson is 11 feet long, whereas the Tensky one only has a cord that's 5.9 feet long. But let's test out the airflow though. That that really does matter. I have an anemometer here, and yes, I still can't say that freaking word. It drives me absolutely crazy, but I'm gonna measure the wind speed of each one. And for the Dyson first, we have a reading of about 26.9 knots, maybe 27 even. It kind of keeps bouncing up and down. And that is at full blast, by the way. It's at full speed for both of them so we can measure how much power is coming out. And for the Tensky, it's really topping out at around 25.8 knots, which I think is really close. I'm not even really sure I could notice the difference between 26.9 and 25.8 if the meter didn't tell me. So I just really think it's very, very close and comparable when it comes to airflow. Now let's move over to the demo test, though. Let's see how they both compare that way. I'm going to first just demonstrate a normal blow drying scenario with the Tensky dryer. I've just washed and conditioned my hair and I'm going to blow dry it completely dry. I'm also timing this for the next test as well. Here is the result though after blow drying completely dry. I think actually this is a pretty good result. You can see there's a lot of volume there in the front from the amount of airflow the dryer has. It really just pushes the hair up and then uses a good amount of heat to really structure the hair and give you some really good natural volume. Now let's switch things over to the Dyson and show you guys the same process, same head of hair, obviously, just with the Dyson blow dryer. This is a result that we've seen hundreds of times if you've watched my channel in the past. And really, it's always solid. I mean, I, I'm always happy with it. I think it always looks great. And this really is no different. This is the same result that I always get. If I'm being honest, though, I do think there's a little less volume that I'm seeing here with the Dyson, which is which is a bit surprising to me. It's a little, little surprising, to be honest. Now let's move over to speed. I mentioned a second ago that I was 
timing each demo test to see how long it took to fully dry my hair. And when I did that, the Tenski actually came in at around one minute and 33 seconds, which I think is pretty good. I mean, especially for the result that it gives. One minute, 33 seconds is pretty good, actually. When compared to the Dyson, I saw that the Dyson was a little bit faster, but not by much. It dried my hair in one minute, 26 seconds. And remember, it's also five years old. So you have to take that into consideration. But actually, I think the timing here is much more comparable than really I was expecting. So now what are my thoughts after going through all the tests using both of these? What are my thoughts on the comparison? I actually think that the Tenski hairdryer is much closer to the Dyson than I really would have initially given it credit for or even expected. I think this actually probably is the closest one that I have found to the Dyson yet. I mean, this really just has a lot of features that are extremely close to what the Dyson offers. I mean, first off, the airflow. The airflow was extremely close. It's easy to hold. It's not hard to use. It's not too heavy or too light. You know, part-wise, it seems to be made with some really good quality parts, just like the Dyson is. The Dyson obviously is heavier, so you can kind of make your determination between that, but I think both feel very sturdy to me. I think in the end, the ultimate decision between the two will have to be made probably at a later date just to see if the Tenski model has the endurance that so far the Dyson has showed me. I mean, I, I don't need to wait five years or anything like that, but if I start using this, for example, and it craps out after a month, then I think that question will be answered. This one, the Dyson one, has lasted me seriously about five years, and I'm not the first owner. I actually bought it used. So, I mean, it's got some serious endurance to this blow dryer, so I think that's kind of where that question will have to go for, for this one. I do know for a fact, though, that some people just they just don't want to spend the money on the Dyson. And I tend to agree, actually. I think the Dyson is a bit overpriced. That's one of the reasons I bought it used instead of new. I think for those people that tend to think that way, this really is a good, comparable, good quality blow dryer that can offer you similar results at a much better price than the Dyson. So in that regard, I do have to say it, it really just depends on your your views on price, but I do think you can get very similar results for a much better price with this unit. I did also mention, speaking of price, that you can get a discount on these. There are a couple coupon codes in the description that can be used on this blow dryer on Amazon. I have no idea though how long those discounts will be good for. That's not up to me ultimately, but they will be put in there. I will update them if I'm given that info from them, but you know, it's kind of out of my hands at that point, but check it out, you know, head on over to Amazon, check out the coupon codes, check out the rest of the information on this. You know, I do think it's a pretty good unit. I do have to say I give it my stamp of approval. So I think for what it is, it worked out really well. I think though, that is all I got for today. Thanks so much for checking this out with me. This was a lot of fun for me to do. I really appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to share this with you, this big test. I love doing stuff like this. It's a lot of fun for me. So thank you very much for checking this out. Once again, make sure you do the big three for me, like, comment, and subscribe. That is very much appreciated. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.